Hello everyone. So we finished the the joins and and the subquery. And like I mentioned, uh, the these are the two important concepts to to uh, to build professional scripts in the in the data and analytics uh, space. Uh, what we're gonna do now? We are moving uh, towards the the Spark or or Data Bricks to do the same thing from from the Data Bricks perspective. Because what will happen normally, like I mentioned, uh, in the industry, especially in the data engineering field, you are not only uh, working on on the structured data, but also sometimes you have to work with the unstructured data. So you have to build the capabilities, and that's why people are moving away from the databases, and they need more uh, more flexibility in terms of technology where they can store the the uh, semi structure or unstructured data, and then they can extract the value out of it. And especially from the machine learning uh, perspective, where the unstructured data really uh, really uh, shines. Uh, and especially you know once you have bunch of text information and it is not arranged like you need to to extract the the the, the information from these document and then run the analytics. For example you want to run the sentiment analysis where you want to see what the trends are what the 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 really you know some completely unmanaged data is giving you uh, uh, the the information so so that's where uh, we move away from the database because in database we cannot do these kind of activities database is really uh, uh, uh efficient in in handling the the structured data so uh before we jump towards uh, the unstructured or semi-structured data what we're gonna do we're gonna actually discuss the same te te technology uh same term that we have actually finished with with the database uh and we're gonna actually see how we can write joins and 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 the uh the sub queries into into uh, data bricks and why i'm saying data bricks obviously data bricks is one of the one of the best platform for you to actually write any any big queries uh, 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 work item or you know you can perform any any testing from from the big data perspective and once you are comfortable you can literally take it into your either dev environment or then you can productionize it so before we uh, jump straight into the environment let's discuss the schema that we are going to use to to uh, build the joins and and the and the uh, the sub queries. One important thing, remember, uh, we normally never jump directly into the uh, queries to to write the 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 uh, uh, the uh, write the scripts that can generate the outcome. There is always a piece of analysis that is required because the that analysis will really help your query to to run efficiently in in the in the in the production environment once you release it and that's why the data modeling and data architect is really shining because obviously we need robust architecture we need robust modeling so it can you know it can sustain against all these you know uh, uh, uh future pressure which if, if if for example if you know uh let's say your dashboard has been used by for example one million users right which is normal like especially the, the public facing portals, here the, the traffic is really high. So sometimes the, 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 the number of users are really very large. So you need to build your scripts or queries in a way that, that can handle, that uh, the server can handle that pressure by executing your query. That, that's where the analysis and you know uh, the design factor uh, comes into, into the picture. So let's start and look at the, the, the schema. Let me share my screen and we're gonna see where we have it. Here we go. So you can see like we have uh, five tables in this uh, in this uh, schema and that that's normally the databases have been designed, especially the normalization. Uh, but tell you the truth, in industry, people won't follow these rules strictly. Uh, it's a it's a very obvious fact, like, you know, because there's always a time pressure and we just need to build something that can work for the business. So always remember one thing, a very important point. Uh, the, there is a book knowledge that definitely help you, but uh, there's an other uh, uh, version of that knowledge which is the industry specific which might be different from uh, uh from the the academic or uh 
uh, book knowledge, right? So never ever confuse if you are uh, going into an enterprise or, or organization and you are seeing things which are not aligning with your concept, which is very normal. Tell you the truth, it's, 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 uh, it's really uh, uh, normal in the industry to, to address the business requirement because, you know, business cannot wait for our uh, uh, academic principle to be established and then they get the outcome. Unfortunately, that, that's the reality. We, we need to first serve the business and then bring the efficiency. Let me put it this way. So uh, that that's a simple schema. Uh, that that's why you are seeing it is really nice and and you know uh, uh, arranged. But normally the the real data sets they are going to be a bit different. And we're gonna see. We all already have seen one of the data set in our previous example where we have seen that data set from the machine learning perspective. Why I'm using this data set? It will really help us to understand the the uh, the the next couple of concepts, especially with the with the uh, the subquery, the joins within the Spark environment. Uh, and I'm emphasizing the Spark because now I want you to be really uh, focused on Spark as well, uh, uh, aside from, from the database. Because when you go for the data engineering interview, that is different from SQL development interview, right? Because the SQL development is purely about the, the database. But in, in Spark, they are expecting you to be more uh more efficient and more experienced with with the with the uh, uh non-structured data let me put it this way so what uh, happen if they are getting for example the json data set what happen if they are getting for example the html data set what about if they want you uh if they want you to 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 you know to uh, scrap the websites and extract that uh, the 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 web page information and then extract the tables out of them right so all these sort of you know new new etl pattern that cannot be built within the database you have to learn uh, another technology what about if you need to build your own data pipelines right which might need to interact for example uh, the the external social media networks for example twitter and at, in one video we're going to see how we can use the 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 Twitter API to 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 you know to get the the tweets to do the sentiment analysis right as part of our our machine learning journey. So keep all these things in your mind. Our journey is not only you know within the data uh, database. We are looking now at, uh, uh, towards a broader scope, right? Because we want to to build something that can contribute into the into the business end, and that's where data uh, uh, the uh, the data engineering shines and stand uh, aside from all other you know roles so com coming back towards the towards the schema obviously we have the employee and we have the person information normally uh, now that's where I was saying generally uh, people keep the that information into one table but it is good if we can keep the personal information separate because person cannot be employed it can be even a company uh, where we, who is dealing with us for example the vendor right and we can keep their information in here so uh, the the person table is more like you know uh, a bridge between between multiple uh, multiple entities right and that's why you can and see we have a business entity id so that that's a very smart concept that uh, 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 that has been used to handle this kind of uh, scenario uh, so obviously we have some of the information which are personal related uh, employee related and then obviously their personal information is sitting in in here the, the another advantage like you know we always have some attribute which is related to one entity and some attribute which are common between entities so with these techniques we, we can actually, we can uh, minimize the repetition. Let me put this way. And obviously there is a third normal form concept where we need to make sure all the attributes are dependent on, on the, on the uh, key, key column, which trust me is, is very rare you're gonna see in the, in the, in the industry. Uh, because of the time, we we uh, really you know look at the table and say, oh, whether it's in the third normal form or not. As soon as it is serving your business, you are the champion. 
So coming back to us, the, the other table, obviously, uh, we have the department in our organization and each, each sometime employee actually work in multiple departments. It's a very common scenario that, okay, one employee joined the organization and he started, for example, he started in, 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 the, in the sales uh, and then he realized he has some technical skills. So he thought, how about if actually I gain some, some experience on, on the, on the uh, technical side. And then by gaining that experience, he moved towards the IT. And then he started working in the data space. He, you know, he started writing the queries. And after some time, he become really good in terms of extraction, prepare, data preparation. And he already have the business logic uh, the knowledge uh, within him. So he's also subject matter expert, SME. So he decided, how about if I actually move towards the data and insight team so I can produce good, good uh, uh, value for, for, for my business. So you can see the, there's a transition that a person joined from sales to IT to, to data and inside. So which is a common. So that's why instead of, you know, uh, keeping the, the employee and department common, we have actually put a bridge, uh, which is more like, you know, many to many concept. You have uh, studied a lot in your, in your uh, academics where if we have, you know, uh, many to many instances on both sides, uh, we normally create a bridge table and then we keep the 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 information uh, into into that bridge table. So once we write this query, you're gonna see see that that concept. And obviously, uh, people in some uh, organization people work in shifts, and in some organization it's more like nine to five job. But that these kind of you know uh, solution, they always scatter all the all the scenarios and try to be generic. Uh, once we uh, put the design, because what about, uh, what about if you put one particular design and later on you have to change it, it creates trouble or it's not going to be a very good design because it is not uh, 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 adaptable to towards the, the changing requirement. So that's a, a high level introduction of, of the schema uh, that we are going to use beside our previous schema that I've already discussed with you. Uh, hopefully you have uh, understand uh, understand understood this, this schema uh, well. If you have any questions, please feel free to post because we're going to now use this schema heavily uh, for our next couple of uh, 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 videos uh, because this schema is really going to shine once we write the the uh, uh, the the, uh, the scripts within, within the, the Spark environment. So uh, hopefully this will, uh, video will benefit you. If you like, please uh, like or uh, put any comments if you have any question. And I'll see you in the next video.